Hi, this is Melanie of Parties of Reviews, and I'm here to talk about the anthology, a new OTT platform for Ekum, um, a, a Canada language anthology available for a one-time fee. If you're new to Parties of Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews on, on Indian cinema. So this Canada language anthology of seven films was shopped around to all different streaming platforms. Um, Rakshit Shetty is one of the executive producers behind the project. No buyers. So what did they do? They decided to create their own OTT platform, charge a modest fee for a not a monthly subscription but just a one-time um, access and it includes all sorts of extra content so the producers of this um, full disclosure the producers gave me advance access to the films themselves and so i did watch them back in may and but i had just like a limited window of when i could watch them so it's 149 rupees and then outside uh, in certain overseas countries is $4. So I paid for it myself as well, partially because I want to support the project, but um, I wanted all the extras as well. So the extras that come with it are the script Bible, storyboards, there's going to be live talks with the uh, filmmakers, and there's a series of four short films on the making of the whole series. So I haven't been able to absorb all of the content yet, but I wanted to give, I had promised to give a little bit more of my feelings about the film. So I should stop and say, there's a link in the description. Um, if you do sign up for Ecom through this link that's in my video, then I will get a small you know, amount of support from that. So, but I do encourage you, it's very reasonably priced for all the things that you get. Okay, so there's seven films. I will have to say that being able to read the script Bible and a little bit more about some of the films gave me further insight because, for instance, I didn't really catch on to, one of my favorite films was called Flight. And it's the director is Sankar Gangadharan and Vivek Vinod. And it was written by Sumant Bhatt and um, also Sankar Gangadharan. And it's about young love. I didn't catch on to the fact, like the script Bible, uh, it's about young love, about a woman, um, young woman at a bus stop, and she has a crush on this guy. And what I didn't clue into is that the time period that this takes place is pre-cell phone. So you see a guy reading a newspaper, the way that she expresses her love to this guy, because he never, like, approaches her, so she finally slips him a note, a letter, and then she gets a letter back. And I, I didn't clue into the fact this is pre-cell phone so there's no texting there's no looking somebody up on social media the only way you know if you were going to be shy or whatever was to send a letter and so I, I just didn't even clue into the time period of it so that gave me extra insight into what what was behind this movie it was not only about this young love but also about how community, I mean, it's showing us how communication has changed by setting it in this 90s period where they had to talk via letters. And it's so charming and so filled with humor and also has a feminist message at the end because when she gets the leather back, she's like, hmm, I'm not sure about this guy after all. <laughs> so um and she just moves on with her life so i absolutely loved that one it had a lot of humor in, in it as i said another one that was filled with humor that was another favorite is called masquerade and the writer director was uh suman Bhatt. and that's what it, this is the one that stars raj b shetty and such a different character than the villain that we saw in turbo he is such a sad sack like he's come back from Dubai and he gets scammed by some friends and it's a satire about 
politics and how and and how it really impacts the lives of people and it's just so completely absurd <laughs> especially the ending which i suppose i won't completely spoil right now but it was just I was on the floor laughing at the ending. It's just so absurd. Brilliant. And he was excellent in it as well. I mean, he just is... <laughs> anyway, you're just like, oh, no, he's not falling for that. And the relationship that he has in the film with his mother. Oh, my God. <laughs> Love that. There was a couple that... So those were the two most humorous ones that maybe were my favorite. But there's ones that... I can't stop thinking about and because they're haunting me they're much more serious especially this one called tradition and it's set around a funeral and this is the one that has Prakash Raj and it his image was used a lot for the promotion of the Ekam series I don't think that I had I mean um Kannada is Prakash Raj's home language but I've seen him in so many different Indian industries I don't know that I had ever seen him in a Kannada language film and this absurd but just what happens in this film and the screams at the end are still haunting me to this day let me just put it that way like it's just so wow like it just really has had this effect on me that i can't stop thinking about it and uh yeah wow and i mean prakash raj of course has this amazing imposing presence and I was really interested starting to read the script bible and the script of uh, that was the first one that I went to because I kind of wanted to know more of the setup of it and th just the evocative language of the script and how they described how the people looked and how they were looking at each other and what the what the characters were about it's given giving me extra insight into one of my favorites of the seven films and then the last the last of the films is called Identity. I would say if there's an overarching film, uh, theme of all seven films, it's like different phases of life. The last one is Identity, and it's about a writer. And I wasn't really sure what I was... Um, like, I, I'm trying not to spoil it, but there's a character that you're not really sure is he real or not. Uh, and if you know what what is he right and so I got further insight by reading the script Bible, Bible reading kind of the synopsis of what this film is about from the viewpoint of the filmmakers and it gave me a lot of additional insight into what they were trying to say with this film because it left me with a lot of questions I mean I really enjoyed it but I'm just saying it was the kind of short film that makes you think and you're like hmm it could have been this or it could have been this you know what I mean it's like you're kind of questioning um it's left open to interpretation for the viewer in a lot of ways and so I gained additional insight being by being able to read these notes that uh, were included in the extras so there's so much I haven't gone through and watched the um making of documentaries yet I'm looking forward to do that but I just wanted to urge you again like I feel like <laughs> I mean I just want to encourage encourage that more filmmakers maybe can take this route and what I was encouraged in looking through the extras material is that this is called season one so they are envisioning giving us more content and I love that okay so I don't know if there's going to be different pricing for that or how that's all going to work but the point is they're viewing it this is stories told about a very specific region of Karnataka and I'm and I'm they said they would look forward to having future seasons about other um, regions of India and I love it okay it's like I, I love the idea that they're opening keeping the door open to doing further films and I love that there would be a place to see thought-provoking short films like this. Because 
let's be real, not all of us can afford to visit all of these film festivals that we'd like to go to, which is where you usually would be able to see things like this. I love that for literally $4 in the US, that's like the third of the price of me seeing a movie in the theater. So completely, utterly reasonable price. Um, again, so I, I'm urging you to sign up for it. I'm hoping to have a conversation with uh, Kathy of Cinema and Podcast, who also has been watching all of these films. And I want to get more deep dive, but I, I, I wanted to be like just a little bit spoilery, but not fully go into discussion of the films since it's only just come out for a few days. I, I'm looking forward to having further discussions with Kathy where we can really get into some of these films and discuss what we liked about them, what was thought provoking, what, what, <laughs> what made me go like this. <laughs> anyway, so do check the link in my description. Um, if you've had a chance to subscribe and if you've seen these films, let me know which ones were your favorite, which ones uh, struck a chord with you. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope there's plenty more to come and kudos again to Rex Chetty and the entire team for finding another path for all of us to be able to see these lovely films. All right, thanks and please do uh, subscribe and hit the bell when you do so you'll never miss any further trailer reactions and film reviews. Follow me on all the usual social media at Pretty's Reviews. Thanks.